I always loved math and science. My dad's an engineer. Um, I loved building things, so we had Legos at home. I loved building Legos. I really like synthesis and making new molecules that haven't been made before and seeing how they react. That's sort of the very exciting part for me about uh, learning new chemistry. It's making things that have never been made um, and showing new things to the world. My um, area of research is in biomimetic materials. Um, we're making synthetic materials that mimic real materials in order to harness some of their activities. We're trying to um, promote the, the body's own immune system to fight cancer cells. My area of research is software engineering. Um, I spent many years looking at a technique called specification-based testing. Computer science is still a heavily male-dominated field. In fact, women earn less than 13% of computer science bachelor's degrees at research universities. When I became chair, there was certainly some apprehension about having a woman at the helm. I actually um, had a copy of the book called The Four Agreements, that basically a lot of what The Four Agreements says is to kind of let things roll off your back and just continue to do your best job, and that's what I did. The academic timing, in terms of tenure timing, is very hard. You need to be working very hard, even in your graduate school time and your postdoctoral time, um, so that you can get a position. And then once you're here, you're working very hard to get everything established, your research established. During that whole time, that period of time is really when uh, most women are starting their families. I knew that women were probably giving up, not necessarily failing more than the men, and in fact they weren't, but they were giving up when they did get poor grades, you know, whether they weren't, even if they were passing. I do think it's getting better. I think there's just more um, of a presence of women in faculty and leadership roles. Your primary goal as a professor is to be an educator, and so your primary goal with your students and your postdocs is to really mentor them and teach them how to become um, independent thinking, um, successful scientists and all the skills that they need for that. And I think that's really important. We have some really strong, a lot of really strong women faculty in the Brent School of ICS. I also think that as um, society progresses, the young men have had to also take on more responsibilities at home and so they understand this relationship. Women and men who have a child during those years can actually add an extra year before they um, go up for tenure. Uh, we have taken advantage of the UCI childcare services here. The campus really started to recognize that diversity was an issue that they needed to take seriously and that they needed to reward people who were trying to make a difference. I think um, the women that I see that are um, getting chemistry degrees and in graduate school in chemistry now and doing postdocs are just um, really a great group of young people who are really excited about their careers and their future and really excited about their science and so I think it's really promising.